If you want to appreciate someone's kindness, you say, that is kind of you. So, in Dutch you would say, dat is aardig van je. Dat is aardig van je. If you want to thank someone for the effort or for trying, you say, bedankt voor de moeite. Bedankt voor de moeite. De moeite is the effort. So, uh, if somebody is vermoeid or moe, it means they're tired. So, uh, effort is moeite, because you're, you know, you're getting yourself tired to do it. Bedankt voor de moeite. Uh, if you want to say, um, you're welcome, you say, graag gedaan. So, somebody say, says, dankjewel, or bedankt, and you say, graag gedaan. Uh, practice that one, huh? Graag gedaan. No, thank you is nee, dank je. Nee, dank je. Yes, please is ja, graag. Sorry uh, is sorry or het spijt me. Het spijt me, same meaning, but you know, it's just a different way of saying it. You don't have to memorize to say it, but then if somebody says it, you go like, oh, het spijt me means sorry. It's the same word. Uh, excuse me is pardon. Uh, sometimes in Belgium they say excuseer, but in the Netherlands they usually say, you know, you bump into someone, you say pardon. If you want to say never mind, you say laat maar or laat maar zitten. And literally it means let, let it, just let it be. Because uh, laten is to let something. Laat maar or laat maar zitten. If you want to say that's okay, you say dat geeft niet hoor. And you don't have to say hoor. But it emphasizes it, like, like it's not calling someone a whore, it actually means here, like it really emphasizes what you're saying. So don't be offended if somebody calls you a whore in the Netherlands, that's not what they meant. Uh, if they say hoor, now that's a whore. But whore is not a whore, whore is really. So if you say dat geeft niet, you're saying like okay, that's okay. And, and if you say dat geeft niet hoor, it's like ah, don't worry about it, never mind. Uh, literally, dat geeft niet is that gives not. So, it, you know, don't don't give anything about that. So it doesn't matter. Uh, it was an accident is het ging per ongeluk. Uh, geluk is luck or fortune. Uh, it sounds a little bit like English. And so ongeluk is misfortune. It's the opposite of luck. So an accident obviously is not when you're having a lot of luck. So. Uh, ongeluk means accident. Het ging per ongeluk is it went by accident. It was an accident. Congratulations is kind of like Spanish. Gefeliciteerd. Like felicidades. Gefeliciteerd. Or sometimes they say proficiat. If you want to say good morning in Dutch, you can say goedemorgen. If you say, want to say Good afternoon, you can say goedemiddag. If you want to say good evening, you can say goedenavond. But you can also say goedendag. And I didn't write that here, but if you say goedendag, it means good day. So you can say it all day long. Just memorize that one. Goedendag. I am doing well. How do you say that? Het gaat goed. It goes good. It goes well, right? I am doing well. How about you? And met jou. So if somebody says, Hoe gaat het? How are you doing? How goes it? Is what they literally say. How goes it? Hoe gaat het? You say, Het gaat goed. And met jou. It goes well. And how about you? Met jou is with you. A standard expression in Dutch is what is going on. And in Dutch it is, Wat is er aan de hand? Wat is er aan de hand? And aan de hand means on the hand. I don't know why it is that way. You can look that up maybe. But so that, that's what they say when they mean what's going on. They say, what is er aan de hand? That is none of your business. If they say that's none of your business, they don't use the word business. But they say, dat gaat je niets aan or niks. Niets or niks is the same in Dutch. Dat gaat je niks aan. Hey, mind your own business. Dat gaat je niets aan. And literally it means that goes you nothing on. So it's none of yours, right? Dat gaat je niets aan. I am divorced is ik ben gescheiden. Gescheiden is to separate or divorce. I am living on my own is ik woon alleen. I live alone. It's happening more nowadays than 100 years ago. People are cohabiting without being married. So if that's your case, you say Ik woon samen, which literally means I live together. Wonen is to live at a certain place. So, ik woon samen means I live 
together. It's also close to the German zusammen, but if you don't know German, then that's absolutely useless information. This is my husband. You say, dit is mijn man. There's another word for it called echtgenoot, but in a lot of times they just say man. So literally you're just saying, this is my man. Dit is mijn man. And the same thing with a woman or a wife, you say, this is my wife, you say, dit is mijn vrouw. Vrouw could either mean wife or woman. Dit is mijn vrouw. These are my children is, dit zijn mijn kinderen. And if you have one child, you say, dit is mijn kind. Eén kind, twee kinderen. If you want to ask somebody what they're called, you say, what is your name? You could say, wat is jouw naam? What is your name is correct, but it's not commonly used and you will sound like a foreigner. So instead you should say, who hate you? And that doesn't mean how hate you or who are you hating, because that would be, wie haat je? Haat is hate. So there's a little something you need to remember. Hate is to, to, to be called something. And in German they do that too. It's like, wie heist du? In, Ger in, in Dutch it's the same, it's who hate you? And when you, when you say what your name is, you say, ik hate. Ik hate. So it doesn't mean I hate. Otherwise you'd say, ik haat. So if somebody would ask me, who hate you? I would say, ik hate Vincent. Yeah, that's my name. Uh, you could say, I have two sons and three daughters. Ik heb twee zoons en drie dochters. Ik heb twee zoons. So the, the W is not silent, uh, unlike in English. Ik heb twee zoons en drie dochters. Is it a boy or a girl? Is het een jongen of een meisje? And you can say the end at the end of jongen, but you don't have to. The Dutch always kind of like oh, mumble it down. 